Hi, in this video um, I'm going to try to create a special shader so you can get the idea um, to input it in Unity 3D. Um, because I don't know how to manipulate the shaders on Unity 3D, I thought to make this video so you, that you can have a clear idea of what I um, would like to accomplish from Softimage. So here I have my character and it's been assigned a I mean, occlusion material uh, through a Lambert node and you can see here the settings are pretty much um, a common task for amino occlusion so if I draw a rendered region we can see the results and you know nothing out of the common and I have that pass. Now next thing I did to try to create um, the, the material the tunage material I'm after I assigned this entire mesh a render map. With that render map, I selected um, some of the body parts, for example, um, to just render the surface and including the surface color and illumination and this did not do the job on some of the other things I've tried so I just selected illumination only because I wanted to have a special rim sort of type uh, baked uh, texture so I can pull it over unity 3d but in a moment I will show what the problem was with that in any case I had um, the idea to mix somehow three different material texture baked um, for this uh, character which will be the diffuse one that's the the regular texture color that I have on this material and the rim vertex or somehow rim light over to unity this is how it, sh it should look it should look like over to unity I will um, just show you this as a still picture because it does not have a 3d volume as you can see I'm in Photoshop right now and finally there should be a shader that gives me the ambient occlusion now this ambient occlusion has a, a slightly little problem it goes it grays me it grays my material every every place so this, this is a dirty look so I don't know how it will be really useful to customize the ambient occlusion as we do on soft image with color correction I know a texture editor in unity is just as limited as it can get but I'm trying to get this idea across because I know shaders can be implemented somehow and I'm just giving you uh, my, my ideas so if I check colorize you can clearly see that the color that I'm, I'm giving to the ambient occlusion it's a slightly um, flesh flesh color and then I have better results here see this looks more natural for the character I have so if I go OK then red red appears as red instead of gray see that grayish sorry that's the shifts there he is shift Z and it came back alright so to compose this, we I have a problem. I've been trying to get that as a um, vague texture map, which is a wrong approach. I don't know how to dynamically create this shader over to Unity, since ambient occlusion and you know uh, vertex lightning, vertex shading should have um, uh, a setup with the lights, physical lights themselves from the game but I just wanted to show you what I'm after so if any one of you have uh, an idea I might welcome it and implement it on this because if Unity is as limited as I am getting information to then this should not be that much complex if you already uh, know how to deal with um, editing materials Okay, last but not least, um, 
this project I'm trying to create it's a toon shader project I'm gonna draw a render region right here so you can see um, well actually I'm, I'm user let me let me go through uh, camera my camera which has the toon shader lens and you can see right here I know this is sort of but bear with it so I have my character there and it's got the the two inch lines which they are already picked up in unity and that's okay that's fine but I need to create the shader material because this this cartoon looks so flat it's not even funny I know it will render faster but that's not the look I'm after and that's why I'm asking for your help if you can create this please contact me or drop me a line from my website so the original idea would be all that that I sh just showed you plus the tunish line but whenever I go to unity I'm only allowed to have one material and then over apply over to that material that the tunish uh, 2d outline so that kind of makes it a, a really hard task to add more shaders dynamically into unity or if I can you know just go with this road by baking lights, baking ring lights, baking everything, and then creating a unique material and then send it over to Unity, but then it will not react to light. And even though if I use diffuse for those, it will only be diffuse not for the vertex, but for the um, grayish and black and white zone. So it's not it's not really a good thing to try on this one. So if you have a solution, please I would like to to hear from you and thanks for watching this.